It's uh, an icon of the city, and um, it's a big remembrance of Expo 86, which kind of put us on the map. It's been an iconic landmark and a destination for millions for three decades. Science World has turned 30 years old. I like that electric ball that you that you put your hand on and it does like a volt. I remember like there's the beaver thing there and I remember crawling in and one of my friends was there and we played like tag and stuff. It was pretty fun. So the dome here in Falls Creek that we now know to be Science World was originally Expo Center during Expo 86. When the World's Fair ended, it eventually reopened as Science World on May 6, 1989. Since that time, 18 million people have walked through the doors to see countless exhibits, movies and interactive displays highlighting the wonders of science. That includes the late Stephen Hawking. The world-renowned physicist visited Science World in June of 1993. I will be talking about science this evening. He spoke to over 500 students with disabilities during his stay. He isn't the only high profile visitor. Queen Elizabeth II drew quite the crowd when she stopped by in the late 80s. Security was also tight when Russian leader Mikhail Gorbachev took a tour in 1993. For many who visit Science World, it's the science experiments that steal the show. What do you have for us? Well, we thought in honor of a birthday theme, we're going to start by blowing out a candle, a very special candle we've got here. We're going to add a little bit of fuel from this lycopodium powder. just goes inside. If you add fuel, oxygen, and heat. I have memories of going as a kid, and I don't know, it's this big open room, and you can walk and make music and, and just play. And I was kind of at that age, around you know, seeing Jurassic Park and seeing uh, the dinosaur exhibit. And you know, the first time I had seen a dinosaur apparently uh, come to life in these sort of hydraulic movements, and I couldn't believe it. And now you're here with your kids. Yeah, it's, uh, it is pretty special, actually. What's your favorite part of Science World? Especially with the dinosaurs. In Vancouver, Greg Harper, City News.